Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna cover how to create a USB installer for uh, macOS Monterey. Uh, basically, whether you wanna install the beta or if it's already that time of year where Apple has released the uh, you know, full master release, uh, this will have the instructions uh, to do it. And it's all just three steps. There are a lot of tutorials out there that make it really confusing. So let's get right into it and not waste any more time. Uh, first thing you're gonna need is to download the macOS uh, Monterey installer, okay? This is coming directly from Apple, so it's not some third-party uh, third party website hosting it. It's coming from Apple. Uh, the link I got uh, from uh, the Mr. Macintosh website, they were really, uh, nice and posting them and they keep it uh, updated pretty frequently. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna open up Safari here. We're gonna paste it in and hit return. And then it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna allow a download? We'll say allow and just uh, let that rip. So the download is 11 gigs, so it will uh, take some time. I'm gonna pause the recording here and we'll be back as uh, soon as the download's complete. Alrighty, and we are back. Uh, that actually took uh, about an hour to download, maybe a little more. Uh, it's an 11 gig file, uh, so you know, have a couple of cups of coffee or have some lunch or dinner whenever you're doing this because that download actually takes a little while. All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's click on this package. Essentially, all it really does is it just uh, extracts it to the folder where you want to install, put in your password. Oops. Okay. And now let's just make sure that it's there. Uh, let's open up a finder window here. And it should be right here, install. Mac OS Monterey beta, there it is. All right, and now if you, if it's already at the time where the beta is uh, closed and the master release has been released, uh, it just won't say beta uh, down here and I'll have a download link for that one as well. And uh, instead of using this beta terminal command, you'll use the non beta terminal command, but we'll get to those commands later. Uh, first thing we gotta do now is uh, create this uh, installer, make sure that it works uh, as an installer. So go ahead and plug in your flash drive. All right, um, next thing you wanna do is uh, use Spotlight to find disk utility. Okay, and if you can't see all the devices, go to view, show all devices. And there it is, I've got my USB here. I'm gonna go ahead and click Erase. Make sure that you're not on the bottom one. Do it on the top one, just in case you have more partitions. Then one, it might get sticky, so just uh, top of the drive here, and then hit Erase. All right, we're gonna choose Mac OS Extended Journaled, and we're going to choose GUID for the partition map. And we're gonna name this My Volume. And this is important because in the command here, it says, uh, you know, uh, the drive name my volume will get converted uh, to essentially the installer. So uh, the naming matters here. I mean, you could technically name it something else, just make sure to change it in the command as well. All right, then we'll hit erase. Just be aware that's gonna wipe out that drive. You're gonna lose everything you had on it. All right, we're gonna hit done. Close that out. Uh, we're gonna use Spotlight one more time. We're gonna open up Terminal. I actually already had a Terminal window running, but that's okay. Let's make the font a little bit larger here so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna copy this command here. Uh, this is the beta version. Uh, if you're not on beta, you're gonna copy the one on the bottom there. Copy and paste, all right, and then you're just gonna hit return 
It's going to ask you for your uh, administrator password or the password you use to log into your Mac. All right, and um, you're not going to see anything typing. That's just for security. So just type it out and hit return. And then it's going to say, hey, are you sure you're going to do this? It's going to wipe out that drive. Uh, y for yes. And there you go. It's going to start erasing it. Now I'm going to minimize this. And you can actually see that it already renamed it to install macOS Monterey Beta. And it's making the, the disk bootable. Uh, this process will also take maybe 15, 20 minutes, but it's kind of a set it and forget it. Once it's done doing its thing, it'll let you know. It'll also have a uh, percentage counter here so that you can at least see that it's doing something. Uh, so I'll let this run, and once this is done, uh, I'll come back to you. We'll see how much time it is. You guys can keep uh, keep an eye on the time on, on the top right, and you can see when it finishes, and this way you'll get an idea of how long it'll take you. I mean, maybe if your Mac is faster than mine or your flash drive is faster, you'll have a faster experience, but we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll be back once it's done. All right, and we're back. So we're at 90% now. Uh, it's almost uh, coming to a close. So I figured it'd be a good time to wrap things up. Uh, but once this is uh, complete, there's not much else that you have to do. Uh, you can just eject the drive and it's ready to be used. Uh, you know, reboot your computer, um, hold down the option key, and that will put you into the bootloader option and you can just pick it from there and you can do the install. All right, and there we go. We just got confirmation. Uh, install media is now available. And you can go ahead and close out terminal and eject the drive. It's uh, ready to be used, whether you're using it on another computer or uh, this one here. Just hold down the option key once you restart, and you're all set. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.